I'm gonna um, talk a little bit about dividing community. So, uh, you see dividing community online in many fronts. The first one is uh, the Discord, the uh, kind of a real-time chat that we have. Uh, if you are not there, you should definitely uh, join uh, this. Uh, if you are starting with Biden or if you have experience. Uh, uh, there's always people hanging out there. Uh, for example, this screenshot shows that there were uh, more than 100 people online, plus Vadiners, so people working uh, at Vadin as well, they are, they are uh, uh, there uh, frequently, very frequently. So this is the best way to to get quick answers. So join so join join the um, the Discord server. It's a, a pretty cool place to be. Uh, of course, we have Twitter. Twitter it's a great place for kind of keeping up with what's going on in the industry in general and in in particular. So we uh, announce things like this event or uh, new releases, uh, new features, uh, blog posts, everything. Dividing YouTube channel uh, with more than 17,000 subscribers. So there must be some good content there. You have a small, uh, short, uh, rather short uh, videos with tips for webinars and events like this one. Uh, so check it out as well. Um, getting closer to the code, we have the Vadin directory with hundreds of uh, add-ons that you can use in your Vadin applications. Mm, but also you can publish those uh, add-ons right there. Uh, so it's a way to contribute um, to contribute to the uh, the, uh, the community, and of course, speaking of uh, uh, code and open source, we have GitHub with uh, all the projects, uh, most of the projects at least. Everything that's open source there, uh, you'll find it there. You have a, a list of issues, for example, where you can see all the uh, conversations that are going on there. Vote for the issues that you think are more important, etc. And of course, uh, report issues or even uh, pull requests. Uh, so start the projects that you are interested in right there. So all these are ways to uh, kind of interact with the Vatican community. And so we thought uh, if we, if we get a good idea to show what people are doing and to and to recognize the work that uh, many of you are doing. And so I'm glad to introduce the uh, Vatican Community Award. Yay! <laughs> so uh, this is uh, for you people working out there in all these networks presenting at conferences, and we want to recognize the, the work that, that you have been doing. Uh, so how does it work? Mm. First of all, the winners are gonna be uh, nominated by other uh, Vadin Community Award winners, but they are selected by the global community every year. Of course, we need to start with something. So so the Vadin team is gonna select the first five or so winners. Uh, so we get a team uh, uh, ready, right? Uh, each uh, person who wins this uh, uh, award is going to receive a certificate and a physical recognition token that I'm sure you're going to like. They are going to be uh, listed in a, in a page on vadin.com. Uh, you'll get the moderator role on this court, so you can also help even more the community if you wish. Uh, and you get a, a prescription uh, for free as well. So one year, uh, you'll be able to use this um, all the products that Vadin has to offer, right? Um, so uh, everybody is welcome to join. You need to be an expert like Eric here in this uh, photo. Uh, if you are just starting with uh, with, with, with Vadin, uh, your contributions are as valuable. So everybody is welcome to join. Doesn't matter what's your experience with the framework. If you want to find more about this, uh, I just published a blog post. Uh, and in fact, I think I have the link over here. I can show you quickly uh, on the screen. Uh, but if you go to vadin.com slash blog, you'll find it there. 